I'll just say I'm very grateful, uh, grateful to the uh, district for their faith uh, and their support. And I think it's also a, a cause or a, time, or a time to pause for reflection. You know, why is that? And I think I have worked hard to be in the district. I try to be very accessible. You know, we do six, seven, eight events a day when I'm back home. Uh, I've tried to be, to live true to my conservative values, but also reach across the aisle and get things done. And I believe that's the personality of the second district. It's the center right uh, district, but it wants people to work across the aisle and solve problems. They also want decency and, uh, and not name calling and, and uh, the gutter politics that sometimes we see uh, nationally. So I, be I believe for those reasons, we've done pretty well. And, and to sort of back up my comments, uh, you know, I just want to restress that we were selected number one of all the House and the Senate and all the governors uh, for, by the Common Ground Committee for being the, the number one guy for seeking a, a consensus or seeking common ground. I was rated number 12, just came out last week, out of 435 by the Luger Index, which is done by Georgetown uh, for bipartisanship. Uh, but in the same time, we've been selected as the top legislator for the Associated Equipment Manufacturers, uh, the top one for the American Vets for support of veterans. And we also won the Constituent Services Award uh, uh, by the um, Congressional Management Foundation. So we, we have a lot to, to talk about and what we've done. On top of it, we've passed 14 bills uh, out of Congress, things from getting the foot and mouth disease vaccine bank passed to gold star legislation, uh, to legislation that helps out our veterans, uh, to getting off at Air Force Base a billion dollars to help rebuild. And, I, and I'm very tickled that we have an $800 million plan for Epley Airfield, which is a direct result of the hard infrastructure bill that I voted on. And so I, I just see a lot of good things happening and that we've had a hand in it. It's really a team effort. Um, when you're in Congress, you do nothing by yourself. It's all about a team. It's also about a great team helping us back home. I want to take a chance just to say thank you to our campaign manager, uh, Derek Oden, and our entire team. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.